Hi everyone, it's me, Bill, KC3RYS. A couple of weeks ago, the good folks at TID Radio reached out to me and asked me if I would look at their new radio, the TIDH3. It's comparable to the mighty UV5R, so I jumped on it because, you know, if you've watched the channel enough, you know I'm a fan of the UV5R, but I'm also a fan of some of the TID Radio products, like for instance, their wireless programmer. I did a video on that. I'll put a link somewhere up there for you to check it out. So I said, yeah, please send it to me. And then of course I got sick and then some other things happened. So I want to uh, first of all, apologize to the folks at TID Radio for not getting this video out sooner and thank them for their patience. So let's switch over to camera two and check out the radio. So here's the box that came in. You can see the box was a little bit damaged. When you take a look inside, you can see there's adequate padding so that the radio itself didn't get damaged. Here's the user's manual. It is just about 60 pages long. Looking forward to getting into that. Here is a, a card they recommend download. You can download the user's manual, uh, program, programming software and product operation video. And they also have a number there for customer support. All right, let's get into the fun part. Here's your charger, standard charger. It's got an LED, different colors and the LED are gonna tell you different information. This is one of the things that makes this really cool. USB-C for the charger. So let's have a look here. So here goes your USB-C connector, which goes right into the charger. Then your standard USB connector, and they did give us a block. We can plug this right into the wall. I presume we can also plug that into our computer, or if you're traveling, the back of a television, or in your car lighter, or wherever else you might want to plug these things in. So let's put this guy back in here. There's a lanyard, There's always a lanyard. Throw that back in there back in there. Here is the radio itself. Now one of the first things that struck me about the radio is the weight. This thing's got some density to it. 2500 milliamp battery on it and this is so cool. The USB-C can go right into the battery and you can charge without the charging station. You could be in your car, you could plug it in. I like that a lot. Presumably I can charge this without the battery even being attached, which is really cool. Like I said, it's got a nice feel to it. The battery obviously adds some of the weight. Look at the size of this sucker. 2,500 milliamp. Okay, there's a belt clip, a couple of screws. They're gonna attach right here. And here's our antenna. Standard connector. The radios look about the same size, maybe the UV5R being just a little bit wider. Thickness, I think the H3 beats the UV5R in thickness. Definitely weight. I'm going to give the weight to the H3. Not that it weighs a lot or a lot more, um, it just has a real nice sort of quality mm, to it. Let's put you over here, buddy. Should come with a little bit of charge. Welcome. They tell you that the screen is 1.44 inches. I'm going to round it up to an inch and a half. I mean, we're only short by six one hundredths of an inch. I'm going to call it an inch and a half. Obviously, they have to call it 1.44 because they have to be, I don't know, 100% accurate. All right. Lower that a little bit. I don't know who he's receiving. Um, gonna have to go into the manual next and see what's going on, but over here we've got our standard Kenwood ports. Uh, that's what I was looking for. A USB-C connector here in the ports. I gotta look up and find out if that means I can power the radio right from here, or is that for programming or what? We'll get to that shortly. Um, the screen itself, uh, what's really cool, aside from the fact that it is color, um, your A and B channels, you can actually push to talk either your A channel or your B channel. 
So you see them both up there. You don't have to hit a button to switch from A to B. You just have to select whichever button you want, either the A channel or the B channel. It's got a flashlight on the top. Um, I believe that this button here is programmable, but it starts out controlling the flashlight. Steady on uh, or flash. And that's about it for the design. You can see it's got a clear case. Kind of sharp. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Hi, we're back to camera one. One of the things I forgot to mention about this is with the mighty UV5R, I was very excited for this product from TID Radio. The TID Radio wireless program plugs in right here onto my UV5R. And with the application OD Master, I can search for and find repeaters. And I can use this guy and my cell phone to download those repeaters into channels on the radio. Really cool, really great product. I liked it a lot. However, I understand that with the H3, the wireless programmer is in there already. So I'm really looking forward to testing that out. We'll test that out in just a few minutes. So I've been goofing around with this radio for a couple of days now, and it's really cool. I really like it a lot. One of the really interesting or very, very cool features of the radio is this ability to search out and find repeaters in your area. So let me show you, to you real quick. Got to get organized over here. Here we go with the radio. So here we are, we're in frequency mode. And if I press and hold the number one, you get this screen. This is on channel six. I want to put it on channel 29 because I know that's an empty channel for me. I just don't feel like having to reprogram the radio over and over, but it's easy. So here we are. I stepped it up using the up and down arrow to channel 29. What it's doing right now is listening to the airwaves, listening for anyone to transmit on any frequency. Now I'm not getting anything right now, so I got the old Baofeng. And I'm just going to give a quick blast. KC3RYS radio check. The important thing to see here is it picked up my transmission. So you can see uh, frequency is 147.795. The PL code is 100.0. It's programmed. So now all I need to do is hit the number one for store. And now that's stored on my radio is channel 29. That's fantastic. So you go into a brand new area, pull out the radio and listen, and boom, you can start programming your repeaters. That's really sharp. That is a really, really cool feature. I like it a lot. Okay, the next feature I wanna cover, and again, I wanna do this very quickly because I've already done a video on Odd Master. I know I've been calling it OD Master. I'm a spaz, what can I tell you? So I got my cell phone out and I have Odd Master uh, set up in the, in the phone. I turn on my radio again, the TDH3. Welcome. You're welcome too. So what I need to do first is turn on Bluetooth on the radio. And in order to do that, we're going to hold down the menu key just for a few seconds here. And did you see that little Bluetooth symbol up here? That means that I've got Bluetooth now on the radio. I got Oddmaster out here and I'm going to say select my model, TID radio, TDH3, and I'll say read. So the first thing that happens here is you get a connection Bluetooth error, and that's no good. <laughs> okay, so now I know what I'm doing <laughs> for the first time in my life. All right, so I got the radio, and I've got the phone. Um, I've turned on Bluetooth on the phone, on the radio. And now I come to the phone, and I got to connect via Bluetooth. And the first item up there is this radio, so I will turn that on. There we go. And now when I say radio, I pick the TDH3, and now I say read, and there it is, downloading the information off of the radio. I'll speed this part up. There we go. Now, all the channels that are on my radio are now on my phone. I can edit them, 
I can also edit the functions and the settings. I can change whether or not I want the uh, channel frequency or the channel name to appear. I can change all the great stuff that you can normally change and pretty much the same thing with Chirp. I got it all right here. The other thing I can do with the other thing I can do with Odd Master is I can go to a new place and do a search for the repeaters, say within 10, 15, 25 miles, download it onto the phone, and then write it to the radio. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, um, I did another video, I'll, I'll put the link, I think, here or here, all about OD Mat, all about Odd Master and how to use it. So I don't want to go into all that with this video because it's been done. That is a great feature and I love it. It's all the same technology that's in this guy right here, which is also from TID Radio. This plugs into the Baofeng like I showed you earlier. This is already built into this. How cool. So I got to tell you, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm a little late getting this out. And the good folks at TID Radio have been very patient with me. So if you're a regular to the channel, you know, I don't like to make things too complicated or too technical. Uh, this radio offers a lot of great features. However, if you're not a, a big techno nerd, the radio is also very simple to use in its easier formats. In other words, you can just pick it up, program it just like the Baofeng and you're off to the races. You don't have to get into all the technical side of it. You can just use it as a regular old radio, but I encourage you to give it a shot. I don't want it to be intimidating. I want it to be very approachable. So look, you've got this. We can do this together. Okay, so here's another quick feature of the radio. As you can see, uh, it's got a beautiful multi-lined uh, display there, but after a few seconds, I think it's about 15 seconds, but you can change that amount. The screen will go dark. So there, ha, perfect timing. When the screen goes dark, how do you know whether or not the radio is still on? Well, did you just see those green lights? Watch here. I think they're green. I'm kind of colorblind. But if you watch here, there they go again. Every five seconds, they will flash just to let you know the radio is still on. It's kind of a cool feature unless you're trying to sneak through the jungle at night. But um, otherwise, that's a great feature to let you know it's still on. Next up is how clean is the signal? I don't have a an analyzer, so I couldn't tell you. But I could tell you this much. I've watched several other videos and everyone who I've seen has shown this is a very clean radio. The harmonics, there's there are harmonics there obviously, but they are not very high. The tests that I've seen, I would say most if not all of them have the harmonics at an appropriate level that it's it's not disruptive. So harmonics are great on this thing. The other thing is the antenna. It is a rubber duck just like any other antenna and just like so many other radio manufacturers they know that the first thing you're going to do when you get their radio is you're going to get rid of the rubber duck and go get yourself a big boy antenna this is a, a nagoya 771 i think or an, a brie whatever you know what i'm saying get yourself a better antenna and you will have a better radio so i will be doing a follow-up video on this radio but just to, uh, just to summarize, it's a great little radio, 2,500 milliamp battery. It lasts for days. I've actually left it on and left it in the office here for a couple of days, and it was still had a good charge on it. It's easy to program. It's got over 200 channels available. NOAA is already programmed into the radio. You can use Oddmaster to program it, or you can use Chirp to program it, or you can manually program it if you're like a beast. You can just go onto the keyboard. It's got that inch and a half color screen. It's got two push to talk buttons, one for channel A and one for channel B. It's got that great light on the top that is super bright. The signal's clean with uh, very little harmonics. The output signal from it is also very good, close to the five watts that's advertised for it. So all in all, I think this is a really good radio. I just can't wait to get out there and do some field testing with it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you staying to the end of the video and I always appreciate you watching my videos. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. And in the description, I'll have links to where you can get the radios as well as hopefully I'll have a discount code that I can put down there for you. That's about the fourth time I tried to say that. Thanks for watching. Good luck and have fun.